Growing a home bakery business is no joke, but here are five apps that I personally use to grow my home bakery business. Welcome to the Station Bakery. I'm Court, and on my channel, I like to share all things home bakery business, from cake decorating to business tips to just everyday life of running a home bakery business. If you want to learn how to grow your home bakery, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. Running a home bakery business is more than just creating pretty and delicious cakes, right? What about all of the behind the scene things that go on that make your home bakery business run? As much as we might prefer to not deal with the business side of our home bakery business, it's just one of those things that just has to be done. But be encouraged because you're not alone and there are a few of us who actually do like the business side of of running a home bakery business and are willing to share what we know. And that is why I'm here to share five apps that I personally use to run and grow my home bakery business. And I hope that it makes your process of running a business just a bit easier. So first off is a very popular one that majority of you probably have heard of. But I had to add it to this list because I use it so much in my home bakery business. Canva is a great app to make all kinds of different graphics from menus to holiday posts, carousels and logos, things for your website, making stories, and they've even recently released a feature where you can actually make videos. Canva gives you access to tons of graphics and photos and backgrounds and fonts. There is so much that is provided, like literally everything and anything that you need for the digital side of your business can be done and found in Canva, which is one of the reasons why I really love it. Not only is Canva great for creating these graphics, but it also has a scheduler integrated into the program where you can automatically post directly to your different platforms or even schedule out your posts to post to these different platforms. Canva is also a really great alternative for creating some form of a website. Yes, Canva has the feature for you to create a website as well. I have created these menu templates here that you can purchase and actually edit to fill in your own information to post to your stories and highlights to make the process of ordering from you so much easier. So be sure to check the link in the description to grab yours. And yes, I made this in Canva. I personally love to use Canva. Canva is what I use to create my carousels on Instagram. It's what I use to make some of my stories. It's what I use to make my thumbnails for YouTube. What I use to make my cover photos for my Pinterest page. It's just really a well-rounded platform that you can use in so many ways for your business. You have tremendous access to a lot of the features for free. But if you do have the money to invest, I would personally recommend getting the pro version. It's no secret that we are in short form video era. It's almost nearly impossible for you to have the growth and the sales that you desire without some form of a social media presence. With that in mind, I think it's only right that I share with you what I personally use to edit some of my short form videos. With full transparency, I do use multiple apps for different purposes. I use Splice to edit a lot of my short form content like my Reels and TikToks. Splice is a really great app and it's really easy to use and has a lot of those basic features that you'll need to be successful with editing your videos. They make the process super simple Simple for you and give you options to choose from like Instagram Reels, a TikTok video, YouTube Shorts, a Facebook post, Instagram videos, Instagram stories, and so much more. Another great feature about Splice is that it has all of the features that you would ever need, but one of the ones that I really love it for is its ability to 10x the speed which is really important for people who like to do videos of decorating cakes and time lapses and things like that. What I found with other editing apps is that you can only up the speed by 2x to 5x, which is great, but when you can have 10x, I mean, 
I'm gonna go for the 10X, right? But what also is great about Splice is that you can use this from your phone. No need for a laptop or a whole setup to drag and drop videos and none of that. It's all done directly from your phone, which allows your creation process to be even more seamless. Splice does have a paid version, but personally, I have not found a need to pay for access to those features. I love the fact that you can do all of the basics of what you need to get done on the free version. Okay, so now let's move on to what social media originally was, right? With photo sharing. Even though we are in a time of short form video reigning and taking over the world, I do still believe that there is a place for photos on these social media platforms. I mean, not TikTok, but you know, Instagram. And Facebook. Whether that is to build up your feed for when potential customers and clients come to your page, they're able to scroll through your work and see the cakes that you've made. Or if it's just to build up your content to have multiple pieces of content to post throughout the week. And the app that I like to use to edit my photos is called Snapseed. Snapseed is the only app that I use to edit my photos. I mean, it takes my photos from this to this. And just like all the other apps that I've mentioned previously and that I will mention in the rest of this video, it's free. It's also listed as one of the best photo editing apps out there. Editing photos is very vital to the way that people will perceive your business. While you can probably get some really great shots naturally, I believe that there is still always space for you to edit and enhance that photo to make it even better. Which is why I recommend having some kind of photo editing app to take your pictures to that next level. But I just love the simplicity and ease of having access to everything you need directly on your phone. And I hope what you're picking up through this video is that you don't really need those expensive and high and professional quality apps to be successful in your business. Now take Snapseed and pair that with Canva and you have a winning combination of endless possibilities. Okay, so the next app that I use to grow my home bakery business is Square. Now I've talked about Square before in a previous video but I'm gonna keep talking about it until I'm not using it no more. Square has so many amazing features, but for the purpose of this video, and so I don't take up all your time, I am only going to talk about one feature, and that is its sales feature. There are multiple ways that you can make a sale directly through their platform, such as using a point of sale feature or taking pre-orders ahead of time. This feature is really great if you are operating in markets and pop-ups, or even if you're hosting a flash or pre-sale. You are able to preload your available items into the system with its pricing and all you have to do is like at a store. You put the items into the cart and then the person swipes their card and pays right there on the spot. So this is really great and it makes the process super simple so you don't have to worry about fiddling around with Venmos and cash apps and Zelle information and all of that extra stuff. They get their product and you get your money. Done. Square is free to use, however, there are transaction fees that you will pay on each sale that you make. And what else makes Square so great is that it is an established and trusted business and it is specifically made for sales. I personally use Square to take my orders and to send my invoices, but we'll talk a little bit more about Square in future videos and on my Instagram. This last app that I use to grow my home bakery business is one that I've mentioned before in another one of my videos. Fillet is an app where you are able to cost out your recipes and come up with the prices for your products. You input all of your ingredients, how much it costs and the quantity per purchase. And it does all the calculations and math for you to calculate out how much it costs for you to make that product. You can also input information such as your hourly pay and add that onto the cost and see how much profit you will earn based off of the price that you want to charge for a specific item. This has really helped me to grow my home bakery business financially because I am able to see exactly how much money is going out of my business and it helps me to eliminate products that might not be that cost efficient or profitable for me and my business. So these are five apps that I use to grow my home bakery business and I hope that it has helped you and that you'll be able to use this to grow your home bakery business as well. If you like to be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.